Okay, I did something else that's pretty cool here that I want to show you about. What I decided to do was I decided to remove my shadows from the character, from the person. So I, I cut the shadow, I selected the shadow, and then uh, cut it and then pasted it on a separate layer. So now you'll see here I have uh, the shadow one layer and then the frame one layer. And so that way it gives me more flexibility when I go to animate this. Maybe I don't want the shadow. Another cool thing I did was is the shadow had all this concrete business from the original video and I, I didn't want that. I wanted to get rid of that and I wanted to change it uh, so it has more flexibility when I bring it into Flash. So what I decided to do was I decided to make it opacity. Look at my cursor here. I set the opacity here to 60%. I painted it black, set the opacity to 60%, and now it's see-through. So now if I wanted to change my background color, let's say, I'll show you. I've got my background color here, and I could get the paint bucket, and I could change this, let's say, to a green or something like that. I'm going to paint in the with the paint bucket in the background layer. And so now uh, the background's green and my shadow is a, a dark gray green because my shadow is black at 60% opacity so it's allowing the background to shine through no matter what the background is. So that's going to be really cool when I get to flash. So let me go back a little bit there and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, I'm going to turn off these eyeballs so I have my background eyeball on and I'm going to go to the next layer where I've done this or the next layer that needs to get done rather, layer 5, there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on my shadow area. Now on yours, you might not have a shadow area, so this might not be something you're interested in. And I notice right off the bat I've got a couple of problems. So what I'm going to do is turn off my lock transparency layer, and I'm going to, um, whoops, and I need to erase. So I get my eraser tool. I'll set this back to black and white. But I'll get my eraser tool, make my eraser a little bit bigger, and I'm going to erase here. And I can just see I have some problems here. If you can see the dirt that's there, I, I see some pixels that didn't get erased. So I erase those first off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection. So what I'm going to do is get my hold down my lasso tool, get my polygonal lasso, and what I'm going to do is click, click, click and drag, and make a selection very close to um, his uh, foot here. And I'm just going to click, click, and then close the selection. And now I've selected. Um, uh, part of the shadow. Now I'm going to zoom out, control minus, hold down the control key and hit the minus key. Zoom out. And I'm going to add more to my selection. So I'll hold down the shift key so I get the plus sign and I'll just click, 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 click around the rest of the shadow, overlapping my, my other selection and, and click. And I go back to where I started. So now I have a selection of the shadow area. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hit Control X or Edit Cut and I've cut my shadow and I'm going to make a new layer okay and I'll drag it I don't want to drag it below the layer 5 and I'm just going to hit Edit Paste and there's my shadow. Get my Move tool and move it into position. Okay and then to move it perfectly I'll zoom in get my move tool and use the arrows on my keyboard to attach it. Okay, good enough. Alright, that looks pretty good. Zoom out, control minus. And then the last thing I'm going to do is, so this, just double check, this is my shadow. This is my character. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the shadow layer. I'm going to lock the transparent pixels that are around the shadow get my paintbrush. Black is my color. And I need a bigger brush, so I use the brackets, curly braces, and paint it black. Paint the shadow black. Notice the transparency is not painted, only the shadow, because I set lock on my transparency. Now once again, you might not have a, a shadow on your video, but in case you did have one, you could do this technique. 
So uh, now my shadow is black, and then I'll just go up to opacity for my layer and change it to 60%. Okay, and so now I have a see-through shadow layer. Get my move tool again, and what I'll do is now now this layer is now going to be frame four, meaning it's my fourth picture or fourth character, and this will be shadow. So I'm renaming my layers so that everything is organized. So frame three, frame four, frame three, frame two, shadow four, shadow three, shadow two. 